Genesis chapter 6. I'm going to be beginning in verse 13 and read up until the last verse. And God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and outside with pitch. And this is how you shall make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. You shall make a window for the ark, and you shall finish it to a cubit from above, and set the door of the ark inside. You shall make it with lower, second, and third decks. And behold, I myself am bringing flood waters on the earth to destroy from under heaven all flesh in which is the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall go into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every sort into the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female, of the birds after their kind, of animals after their kind, and of every creeping thing of the earth after its kind. Two of every kind will come to you to keep them alive, and you shall take for yourself of all food that is eaten, and you shall gather it to yourself, and it shall be food for you and for them. Thus Noah did, according to all that God commanded him, so he did. We see here in scripture, and my pastor at church preached uh, about Noah and following the instructions on building the ark today, which is what put me in the mind to do this video. I was originally going to do uh, piggybacking off of a uh, devotion, not the Ephesians devotion, another one, but I decided against it because this message, it, it stood out that uh, a lot of the time when God has a plan that he wants us to follow out there's usually specific instructions to it or even when we read God's word to figure out what God wants us to do in life the Bible is very clear on some things that God wants us to do and sometimes we feel like that we don't trust God and God's plans or his word and so we sometimes find ourselves trying to do things on our own and us humans, we're not perfect. And when we make plans, they often fall apart. Or if they work out, it's not quite what we wanted it to. But God has a plan and a purpose. And if we follow it exactly, we can rest assured that it will come true. Like Noah, for example. No one had ever heard of a flood before. Because a flood had never happened before that let alone one that would, you know, flood the entire earth. But Noah instead chose to not only believe God, but he listened to God and followed the, the specific instructions that God gave. And because of that, Noah and his family were saved, and so was every, you know, animal that went into the ark with him. And that took a lot of faith, you know, to believe that you know, he had to do this or else, you know, he would perish along with everything else because everything that was not on the ark was not going to be saved. And we're in a similar situation today where Jesus and the sacrifice he made on the cross, that is our ark today. That's how we must be saved from, you know, going to hell in the afterlife. And God gives a very specific instruction to just change our mind about our own ways, about our sins, realizing that they're wrong and sinful. And then placing our trust in the righteousness that, you know, Christ had died so that we could be credited with. All we have to do is trust to put our faith in it. It's a simple instruction compared to that of the ark. And you know, so many people aren't taking that chance. Instead that they're trying to figure out their own path but it's going to ultimately lead nowhere but destruction i pray that you guys today you know are trusting in christ 
just as Noah trusted in God and built that ark the way God told him to. Because our plans, <laughs> our plans don't quite work out like God's does. God's are guaranteed to work out if we just trust him. Amen. Anyways, guys, sorry this was kind of a short one, but it stood out to me, so I felt like I would speak on it a little. And I hope to see you in the next one, God be willing. God bless you all.